Hello and welcome to Rudskogen. We are driving the to Toyota GR86. I messed up the word Toyota again. I don't know why it's so difficult for me. <laughs> but we are here at a great track. I love this place. And uh, it's working out pretty well for this car too, I think. I enjoyed the practice laps I've done so far. Had some fun. Uh, trying to set some fast laps. And uh, we'll see how we uh, match up here, though, against some tough competition. It's uh, only 1.8k strength of field, but we are the number three. We've got some fast guys in here that we're going to try to keep up with. And, uh, well, hopefully it goes well. Very fun track. I love this place so much. It just, uh, I guess, fits my driving style pretty well or something. And, uh... Seems like tires matter a lot. I know the, this car wants you to be a little easier on the tires because they will not grip up quite as well later on, but I've noticed tire fall off more here than just about anywhere else so far. Um, so that's something interesting to note. That corner gets really loose on throttle uh, on the pulled tires, and even later in the runs, so you kind of have to be careful there. But just so many corners I really love here. Some fast corners, and uh, you got like this long winding corner, green, green, green. carousel style. Really enjoy it. You're modulating that throttle, trying to get as much as you can out of it. Good stuff. Um, I have a bad habit of overdriving turn one and pitching it by accident. I'm going to try not to do that here. Uh, that wasn't great, but we're okay. Ended up getting through there alright. We're about a tenth down on mile time optimal. Ended up kind of getting a good run through this little straightaway. This one's easy to overdrive if you're not careful, so I will be. Okay. You can drive on the green part here pretty liberally, so I like to use that as much as I can. It's really easy to overdrive this. I try to keep it near the uh, curb, usually. This corner is always tough. Let's see if we can avoid wrecking. Oh, we got loose. We're okay, though. Easy to push out wide right there, too. Get this thing turned, kind of like lifting the throttle up, kind of shifting the weight around. Okay, we're about four tenths off the uh, optimal. I'm okay with that. That's not so bad. 34s. Be cool to get in the 33s, but that might be tough. I like to kind of keep it like inside here. This thing's low powered enough that I think the shorter row around seems to work pretty well, but I could be wrong. What's the pull time? 33.4. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that, but. That's all right. We'll get the best we can here. Ooh, kind of overdrove the second half of that corner. And underdrove that a little bit. It's okay. We're still doing all right for this lap. Maybe we can get a little bit more. Pushed it hard through there and got loose again. Dang. I need to not do that. No off track, though I cut it close. I wonder if I go out wider here, how that will turn out.
Eh, not so not so great, but that's fine. First lap was better. That one was three tenths off with the first one. I was happy with the first lap though, so I'm not upset or anything. I think turn one is my worst corner easily. I just I not very consistent there. It really wants to pitch sideways. I just I overdrive it so much, but I don't want to underdrive it either. P5 right now. We're not too far off. Even the fastest guys, seven tenths. I that's actually that's almost a second off. That's not great. I'm not even looking at the track right now. <laughs> um, a tenth off the guy ahead. Not so bad. I just got done doing a rookie Mazda race, as I like to do. Just off recording, just having some fun. And it was probably one of the craziest races I've ever been in. I kind of wish that I did record it. We had an 8,000 I rating guy on there and an alt account. His actual account has over 10,000 road I rating, believe it or not. And uh, he self-spun after starting his pole in the first corner. And wouldn't you know it, guess who got stuck slamming on the brakes? Me. Uh, I didn't hit him, actually. But I had to literally park it in turn one. And uh, he got going again. I kind of followed him as he rocketed back up to the pack. And the pack was very slow because... Everyone was fighting like crazy, knocking each other off the course. It was absolute mayhem. And we finally make it back. We have to make some crazy passes. Uh, I, I'm carving my way through the field. Rookie Mazda races being very short, remember? And uh, ended up in, in P2. And uh, almost catching the leader. The uh, 8,000 I rating guy <laughs> blinked out or, you know, lost connection with like a couple laps to go, which was so unfortunate for him. That had to really sting. But that was a crazy race. Um, it went from absolute mayhem on the start to like some really great racing near the end. So, like, everybody up front was actually doing a great job, not running into each other. So uh, we had a great race there. And... Uh, the two was the guy that actually won that race. I finished behind him. And now, wouldn't you figure, I am currently starting right behind him in this race. So, that's all very interesting. This person named Jail is <laughs> uh, the only one we're waiting on. But we only have to wait five seconds anyway. He's from Hispano America, so would, would it be Hail? That's the end of the session. Maybe? Maybe five. Hi, maybe, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen that name before, but regardless, we are going to start fifth. And uh, hopefully it'll be fun. I'm excited. Last race was really good. It started up terrible, was really good. I'm hoping this race is good as well. Why is my keyboard not working? I hate when this happens. Why does this happen? I want my all-time optimal up, man. I hate that. Sometimes the keyboard just doesn't work, and it really frustrates me. It's not even the keyboard, it's just uh, my tab key won't bring up the delta. And I don't know any other way to do it. So that's frustrating. Let me see if, let me try to look up real quick if there's another way to do it. How to bring up session. The track temp is 96. Yes, the air temp is 78. Got someone ready to do a standing start. I've got news for them. I'm going to hear them flat footing it. I ran out of time, so I guess we just have to go without all time optimal. That's fine. We'll do it Gavin style. <laughs> he doesn't ever use it. I like having it. I mean, heck, I just had a race uh, where I got wrecked out early in the GT4s where most of the entertainment came from trying to improve my optimal.
Maybe if I keep trying, it'll work. Hit it harder. It's not working. I think it's got to be an eye racing issue, because I don't think it's my keyboard. And I've noticed other people having that issue before, too. I've noticed Nick have it. So I think it's like an eye racing thing. That, for some reason, it doesn't want to work. No idea. But we got, of course, people warming their tires up. I'll try to bring my brakes up to temp. That doesn't require me spazzing out. Oh, sorry, that I forgot. <laughs> In other countries, that's like a really not good word. In the United States, that's uh, not considered a bad word, but in, I think, like, Europe, specifically, like, Great Britain, I think, that's considered a, a not great word, so I apologize. I always forget that. Um, people freaking out, we'll say, by swerving left and right. Recently described it as having a wasp in the car, or spider. That's what it looks like to me. Thankfully, this uh, formation lap is not as long as Road America. We're almost there. Looks like the leader's leaving quite a bit of room. We'll have to be ready for, uh, for them to make the jump. Room behind the uh, pace car, I mean. About to go green. Stay focused. Okay, going. Green, 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 green. Fifteen minutes left. They are three wide. Car and wrecking. Right. You're on the left. Three wide. Car right. Uh, wide. wince, wince, wince. Cringe. Okay. Clear. Just waiting to get right. hit by somebody. Thankfully, it did not happen. Clear on the right. All right, we survived. So far. Get these tires up to temp, and hopefully, have some good running. Do you have eyes, man? That guy's angry. That's the guy that won the last race. Try the track and come to the track like nobody there. What the fuck? I understood the last three words. They were not good words. A little bit of room behind. I think uh, we're looking good now. We've got some space. Things have calmed down a wee bit. Had to lift on exit there, unfortunately. With pushing out wide, tires were not wanting to grip. We got some snaking going on, breaking the draft. Wow, that is some aggressive maneuvering. Leader's gone. That's to be expected, though. He was pretty darn fast. I forget what his qualifying time was, but it put him out front, that's for sure. So it must have been pretty good. Remember, it was... Oh, that was right. It was like almost a second. Faster than my lap. Someone coming up behind, so we haven't really completely pulled away or anything like that. Oh man, that did not want to turn. I don't really had that much understeer there yet. Cut that. Yeah, I went wide. I was worried I was going to get a slowdown, but got the off track. Don't want to do that. I have a bad habit of doing that on that corner.
almost went wide there too. That was a bit of a messy lap. I'm going to try to clean it up here on lap three. I say immediately, almost going off course. Yeah, way to clean it up there, buddy. At least I have this telling me uh, my session best lap, I think is what that is. I can take a look at that. That might be interesting. A tough time. I'm feeling pretty good about a top five though, because the guy behind's keeping up, but there's a gap after him. Okay, got through there pretty decent. Entered much harder than the guy had. Uh oh. That was scary. Not gonna pass right here, that's too dangerous. Not a good spot for it. Okay, he's gonna park it though. I'm gonna need him to not do that. Hopefully avoid getting into the back of him. Really hope the guy behind doesn't try to dive it in. Okay. Car on your left. What do you know? Clear on the left. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Alright, Colton. Double chances here. So shocked. Hold it off though, lose time to the guys ahead because that's what happens when you force me to be too wide when I wasn't ready to be too wide. Right. This guy's annoying, I'm just going by. Oh! Hold your line. Clear. <laughs> Come on, I don't want shoot. the people behind us to catch. Like I, I don't, I'll take my top five if that's what it's going to come to. He's just going to end up wrecking me if he keeps diving it in from a mile back. If you don't go for a gap, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Why didn't I go to first gear? I swear I shifted to first gear. Well, that was dumb. Maybe I should stop <laughs> mocking and actually drive, huh? I'm stinking. Apparently I'm much better on cold tires. That's quite the reverse. That's the Uno reverse card. Normally I'm terrible on cold tires. This time I think uh, I'm actually doing a little bit better on the cold tires than I am. And the tires are up to temp and uh, worn, I guess, to be fair. Yeah, they're kind of just zooming away from me up there. The gap behind is now 1.5 seconds. I'm going out wide again, dang. Not hitting my marks. What's wrong with me? They might get to battling ahead, though. That could help us out. Okay, Colton, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. I know that guy's not afraid to send it. He's been listening to a crew chief. That's what's going on there. Crew chief's always telling me to send it. You're just gonna have to send it. No, I'm, I'm not gonna have to do that. <laughs> But yeah, we got ourselves a three car battle up there. And they're going side by side.
I almost pitched it. Horrible thing I do. Gained a lot of time on him right there. Cheers, buddy. You gotta watch him. Yeah, man. Fair enough. Sorry. Something must have happened. Can I catch this draft? That would be helpful. One point four head. It turning car. Hey, I think we're in the draft range. Well, they're gonna try to shake me out of it, but let me not mess up turn one. I like doing that. All right. Pretty good. We got whole five seconds behind us. And growing. Okay, Colton. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Stay on it. This isn't over yet. We might have something to fight for after all. Not pushing wide. We're good. We're good. Lost some time though. Are you kidding me? Oh wow! It did not turn. Well, there's another off track. That's not very fancy. Why is this thing not turning anymore? Come on, man. They say you cut the court. You'll have to slow down and give up the time game. We will get rid of that right now. So we can get rid of it and then try to get a run. It did not work though. <laughs> oh well. Well that stinks. I really got I gotta drive this a little softer. Clearly the uh, tires are hurting. Slow car ahead. Go right. Great. There's a spot. Five told Jared to be careful. He wasn't careful, I guess. I didn't really see what happened, but... Is that more smoke ahead? Not seeing any slow cars or anything. Well. Can't be much time left. You've got to be coming to the end of this thing. Well, that fight might catch me though. He's he might be a little faster than me, and he's not too far behind. Got one or two laps to go coming up. Yeah, the way, wow, that is not turning at all anymore. I'm struggling. Might be the most tire wear I've ever experienced in a road racing car. I've gotten into bad situations on oval before. Oh but man. My God, I'm this thing is not turning. Before. Got three seconds in front of and behind us. Should 
Should be coming to the white flag at the end of this lap. There's something in the background through that corner that I always think is smoke. I can never look at it because I'm looking at the apex at that point. <laughs> but something over there is always tricking my eye. First gear, come on. I don't I don't know why I keep forgetting to shift the first gear right there. That was smoke. That was real smoke. Ah, oh, come on, that wasn't an off track. Give me a break. So that was real smoke. It's 14. It's not going to be enough for us to reach him, though, I don't think. Unless he has more mistakes coming up. Hopefully we'll be able to hold off the 5. Assuming we don't have any mistakes of our own. This is an absolute joke. Oh, the five wrecked. It was he who had the mistake. I'll take a P4, though, if that's where I'm going to end up. Even as the number three, I'm totally cool with that. Oh, my God. I, I could literally stop and the penalty won't go away. He's having a rough final lap, it sounds like. There's that smoke again in the background. I'm gonna have to look at the replay or something uh, of my own video here and see what that is in the background. I think it's mountains. I think there's just some mountains in the background or something. Actually hit that correctly at this point in the race. Didn't overdrive that. And unfortunately, no mistakes from the 14 anymore. It looks like we will be getting P4, but that's totally fine. I'm happy with that. Alrighty. And my game level pull off my deck. Number one wins by a whole lot. Okay, Good race, good win. Well done, There's the flag. It's over. Nice run. Solid work. How many uh, did I get? Incidents. 3x. Yeah, that's not so bad. We avoided chaos at the beginning. At least. Park it where everyone can see us. To stop. Alright. Good stuff. Love this track. What are the tires? 80 on the left front. Yeah, I can I can see that. Pretty uh pretty heavy hit. Three incidents. Not everyone's finished yet, so we don't have the incidents showing up quite yet. Well, I guess we'll just have to look at them firsthand, huh? There's the three wide right off the start. Okay, here, the keyboard's not working again. See, it's so frustrating. I don't know why this happens. Let me um, unplug and plug it back in again. One moment. Did it work? Did it work? No. No, it did not work. Why? <laughs> What's happening? I know it's... I know the button is mapped. I use it every race. Hmm. Oh, bother. Maybe if I... Last thing I'll try, sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay, must have something to do with uh, the window. Like I have to leave the window and then come back. That's good to know for the future. All right. Do you believe in miracles? Let's watch the incidents. Three wide. 
didn't work? What? Who was that that got hit? Two? Yeah, he was mad. <laughs> I think he got into more trouble later, maybe. That's a massive net code right there. Just can't believe that three wide into turn one on lap one didn't work. That always works. So this is us. We saw it happening, kind of anticipated it, so I kept really close to the inside. Just let it uh, transpire. was waiting to get hit on the right side. Thankfully, it never happened. This guy's everywhere trying to figure out where everything is. No idea where uh, where this guy's going. He really overcooks it, and then he just turns all the way across the track into the guy on the inside. That's probably what the guy was yelling about. It's like he's not even there. Just can't even see him. That stinks for the two. At least he won the last race I did in the Mazdas. I'm waiting on this guy to figure it out. He never does. Because he's going to pitch it and spin it. Yep, not so great. That guy just runs right into him. One little spin right there, very easy to do. Something about these Toyotas, they just have a lot of crazy weight transfer and they can really, when they get pitched, just spin out. Yeah, like that. <laughs> that was almost a really good save. And then just out of, from the top rope. It's completely kills him and probably really hurt this guy's motor too like that had to do some serious damage I mean it is possible to adjust if you got someone spinning in front of you I guess he just figured that he would spin completely and make it through I don't know. that guy hates that corner six gets run into from behind. He kind of moves a little bit left over in the braking zone a little bit. And there was a net code involved. Yeah, that probably didn't need to happen. I think net code made that a bad thing. That's unfortunate. Is this what the, they were talking about in the chat there? What was with the body check? Well, he's not there, and then he's going to dive it in, so this guy has to adjust his line, and then because he's entering at a terrible angle in a corner that I don't know... I don't know, is this a good passing corner? I don't know if I would say so. But he, he turns it in too much, gets it on the curb. It was weird though, it looks like he like turns left. Maybe trying not to get it spun? I don't know. Either way, just destroyed that guy. Just completely killed him, that's not very fun for him. No idea where that guy's going. We're doing slide jobs on road courses again, I guess. They are doing full contact racing, I see. And that's it. All right. Not too much to see. Uh, we got ourselves a P4. Very happy with that. Not always able to do that in this car, because a lot of my I rating comes from the Mazdas and other cars. So whenever I get put in the top split, sometimes it doesn't look too good. <laughs> but uh, we, did, we did pretty well here. 13 seconds off of the leader, but he is fast, so that's okay. Got a couple freebies, but I feel like I did all right. So, 
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I had a fun race. And I hope you have a good one. I will see you next time.